I started my preparation during second year MD residency career. So I heard about speed platform from my seniors and friends. And uh, I used to like watch a little bit of videos and make notes. Initially, I was in series about uh, the DM exam. Then when, when I entered my final year, uh, I understood the approaching and I should be more serious about the topics and uh, I have to read more. Then I started making notes. I watched almost all the speed videos. I went through the MCQs, how I prepared. If you are preparing for a DM exam, you should start early. And uh, Speed is a very good platform for uh, helping you not only for the entrance exam, but also for the final year exam theory as well as Viva part. Speed helps you a lot. So I bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of Speed Medical Institute to Dr. Arya Krishnan for scoring an AML rank of 2 in course selected of DM Pulmonary Medicine, Critical Care and Sleep Medicine in any ESS session November 2023. Congratulations to you, Dr. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Great, Doctor. Wonderful. And uh, we wish to hear from you, from where you started your career. What all you have done till date? So I'm basically from Kerala. I did from uh, I did my UG from Government Medical College, Kannur. And uh, I did my MD in Respiratory Medicine from Institute of Medical Science, Banaras Hindu University, sir. BH. Great. Now, can we know why your interest was in TM and uh, when it started to come into your mind, when did you decide to do and then we decided to do a pulmonary medicine, critical care and sleep medicine. So actually, uh, when I joined for the MD degree, I didn't have the plan for any TM degree. But uh, once I got into the degree and uh, started learning more about pulmonary medicine, I understood that going for DM degree will be much more better in my for my future and for how do you feel pulmonary medicine special to you? I mean, what is the unique aspect of pulmonary medicine? I mean, that is very special to you. When I entered for the MTD, I thought it as a subspecialty. So it will be easy to practice and uh, everything settle in future. But um, later it was like, was like medicine branch too. That's it. Sir. Because, I mean, the question was based out of there are, I mean, we had a pandemic, there was a COVID. And uh, during that period, were you there in the, you would have been there yes, and probably second year? Yes, sir. I joined, uh, I, like, I, I was 2020 July batch, sir. So. Doctor, what is the, what was your methodology of preparation? What all you did to achieve what you are today? So I started my preparation during uh, my second year MD residency career. So I heard about speed platform from my seniors and friends. And uh, I used to like watch a little bit of videos and make notes. Initially, I was in series about uh, the DM exam then. But uh, when I reached, when, when I entered my final year, uh, I understood the, that the final degree exams are approaching and I should be more serious about the topics and uh, I have to read more. Then I started making notes. I watched almost all the speed videos. I made them, I revised it, I went through the MCQs and that's how I prepared. Doctor, out of the 80 questions, were all these 80 questions are only from Fishman? No, sir. For uh, AIMS exam, it is mostly from Harrison, sir. Okay. Uh, for NEET SS, it is Fishman based and for mm -hmm. AIMS, it is Harrison. So predominantly, all the questions you are able to attend through Harrison preparation, uh, can we take it that way? No, for strengthening your basic branch, both Fishman as well as Harrison is essential for it. Sir. So for any SS, you require both the books for both Harrison and uh, Fishman. Am I right? Yes, both are required, but more Harrison oriented is it. Is there? Okay. Mm. Now, of of this eighty questions, how many questions did you attend in this exam? Have any? Remember? Can you remember? So I, I attempted 78 questions. Okay. Um, I left two. Okay. Can you tell us the proportion of questions which are asked in 80? I mean, how many questions would have come from Harrison? How much percentage of questions would have come from Fishman? Something like that. So I felt like around 40 to 50 questions were pulmono pulmonology based and rest were medicine. And uh, mostly I can't point out whether it is from Fishman or Harrison. It is basically, basically concept based. 
So if you read Harrison, whether Harrison or Fishman, and if your concepts are clear, then it is done. Sir. So in Harrison, it is the pulmonology portion of Harrison. Am I right? Yes. Sir. So there was no other uh, chapter other than that which were asked in the exam. Yes. Okay. Were there any questions on biostatistics or something uh, like that in the exam were there or was only uh, purely on with respect to pulmonology? Yes, sir. we had uh, around three, four questions of biostatistics. And uh, I think it was covered from the speed lecture itself. I just went through, I didn't have time to go through the videos. So I did the biostats MCQs from speed app and that was sufficient. Okay. Now, what is the message that you want to give to the future aspirants of a DMC speciality in pulmonary medicine? So, if you are preparing for a DM exam, you should start early. And uh, Speed is a very good platform for uh, helping you, not only for the entrance exam, but also for the final year exam theory as well as Viva part. Speed helps you a lot uh, in clearing the exam. Great, Doctor. Now, time to thank whom all you want to thank. They helped you to achieve what you're today. I would like to thank my parents, sister, my fiancé, and all my teachers, including the speed faculty uh, teachers, my friends, junior, seniors. My friends. Great, doctor. Great uh, interacting with you today in this session. Once again, we wish you all the best and all the success for a great career in DM Pulmonary Medicine. And wish you all the best and all the success in advance. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor.